Hi everybody, it's Carla from Casey Creates. I'm having a bit of a cozy crafting day and I was going to just chat with you and show you some more of my fall decorations that I've been making. Um, I've been going between paper and fabric crafts. I just finished up those angel Christmas sacks that were so much fun to make. I posted a video and some of you made really wonderful kind comments so thank you if you want to go and see that video um, I even had somebody offer to buy one and she actually purchased one which was really exciting so um, I'm used to selling my pottery but that was a first for my fabric crafts well no not a first but definitely um, haven't sold one in a long time so I was excited about that um, you know how you craft and you just get inspired by people? There's thousands and thousands of people I'm sure I could be inspired by. I just can't watch that many videos. So I have a few favorites that I watch over and over again. And I'll get to that in a minute. But I wanted to show you my um, bunting, paper bunting flags. We can't be with my mom this year for Thanksgiving. My brothers are going to be with her. So I'm sending her this banner. It's going to say, Give Thanks. And I wanted to show you each flag that I made for her. Actually made one of each or two of each so that um, <laughs> so I could have one too. I know, I know. I might give it away though. We'll see. They were just so much fun to make. I wanted to repeat them. So I'm going to take them here and try to show you one of each see is that one in this pile yet no it's not so here's that one and that one and that one and I think there's two of that one actually and let's see might be one of that one in there okay so I just went and gathered up um, as many fall harvesty papers as I could find. Um, and so this is what I came up with. You can see it. Um, I, I have a leaf punch that punches out three different leaves. Oak leaf, maple leaf, and... Maybe it's a walnut tree leaf. I don't know what that little oval one is. But I just use different papers and print, uh, not printed, yeah, they're printed scrapbook paper and made a little leaf garland to go the top. And then this one, these came out of the, is it called Daphne's Diary? Daphne's Attic? I can't remember. But anyway, she always gives really fun little cutouts and things in her magazine. And these pumpkins were in there. So I um, copied them so that I could have more than one set. And then I put some ink around the edges. So there's one. This one was with scrapbook paper. And I tell you, I've had these papers forever. And I'm just now pulling them out. But I'm happy that I'm actually finally using them. And then I kind of antiqued this paper because it was a, a glassine wax paper little um, bag. And so it was a little too bright. So I just toned it down a little bit. Used some paper flowers that I got in a thrift store haul and layered them. And so there's that one. I really like this one because it's mixed with gingham and I love gingham. And this is another one of those glassine bags. And um, I just edged it with some ink and fussy cut it a sunflower. This one I used um, K and Company flower embellishments, paper ones. And there's a little ladybug. This is some vintage scrapbook paper. And then the, the ruffled little or scalloped little paper was just a roll of scalloped paper ribbon that I had and I put some of the floral washi tape on that one 
And this one is wood grain scrapbook paper with um, I decoupaged cupcake papers. I ironed them flat and tore them and then just decoupaged them onto this. And then at the top, there's some uh, twine and then some of the little silk leaves. One of them has glitter. And here's one that sort of could go for Christmas or fall, but I really like the kind of woodsy feel that it has. This is like a vintage scrapbook paper. And then I put cut out some pine cones. And some of these I am going to still decoupage on top of just to make them a little more sturdy. And then this is some gingham washi tape. So all that washi tape I hauled, I, I really wanted to make sure I used it got some use out of it so this is one and here's another with the washi tape that I got recently and I love this one it's very whimsical because this washi tape to me is kind of whimsical it's got fall prints on it but very like to me and then another vintage scrapbook paper that reminds me of a wallpaper pattern and then some toadstools or mushrooms and then another little bit of uh, washi tape this is one of my favorites and then I got to use another washi tape the be thankful one and I just cut out a leaf shape added a little bird image and then just the word thankful was all that fit at the bottom but that was appropriate I love this one too it's like a botanical leaf print and I inked around the edges and I love acorn so I was really happy to use an image with an acorn and then I have a cut uh, a punch that punches out this print and I just thought this looked kind of vintagey this this flag so I like this one and these two ended up being extras that I because I'm gonna write put the word give thanks and I needed 10 flags instead of the eight that I had. So I had to come up with another one. So this one may not, may or may not be fall-like, but it'll blend in just fine with the others. And then there's this one with, with, with the wood grain and the roses. So I'm going to pick out 10 of these and put the word give thanks. So I said this was a chat and craft with me. I'm not sure what to chat about. You know, it's, um, I know one thing, we're, we love Thanksgiving, right? I say that in several of my videos, but I just, we just found out that like my niece, she's a news reporter and she's working in a new station where she may not get Thanksgiving off. And my son is working in retail. Well, we know how hard it is to get off on the holidays if you're working in retail. So they're both sad because they're not sure they're going to be able to be home for Thanksgiving. So my sister and I said, we will just switch the day of Thanksgiving. Sometimes you have to do that. It's better to do that than not be all together. That's my opinion. So... Thanksgiving might be on the actual day that it falls, which I think this year is November 17th, I think. But we might celebrate it a different day. And that'll still be fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I did. I printed out the words, <clears throat> excuse me, um, from the free printables on Pinterest, give thanks. And they ended up being the right size. Sometimes I can't tell, even though it says what size, sometimes I can't tell what size things are going to be when they print out, and I waste ink because they're ended up too small or way too big. So these, I think, will be just right. And because my flags are so decorative and have so much going on, I'm just going to use these black block letters um, 
in hopes that they'll still show up. And then after I glue the letters down, I won't do this on camera, but I'm going to decoupage over them just to make sure everything, um, everything stays stuck down and shows up. And all I really have to do now is decide what flag I want to start with. I think I'll start with this one. I'm just going to use um, tacky glue to stick them down. And I might have to overlap or peel some of them down to make them stick. We'll see. But I want to write out give thanks. It makes me think of a song and then I start singing that song all day. Give thanks with a grateful heart. I won't start singing though. <laughs> on the back I put this twine loops on all of them so that I can string twine through them. And I'm just going to put plain twine. I was going to put that twine that has leaves on it, but I didn't want that much going on at the same time. So there's the G for give. And I'm not going to be super fussy about how straight they are because bunting flags kind of wobble up and down a little bit anyway. So I think I will do... Okay, that one has flowers. Let's get a yellow one. Oh, that's kind of yellow, isn't it? Mm. G, I, let's do this one. V. Let's find the V. Um, it's a really, I call it a sparkly day when the skies are blue and it's kind of crisp outside. I call it a sparkly day. So it's kind of a sunny, sparkly day, but crisp outside. Perfect for walking the dog, which I still have to do in a little bit. I'm going to peel the sunflower back a little in hopes that I can get the V on there. I don't know if I want to cover that much of it up. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, I think that I'm going to have to. Oh, well, if I know how to spell, I would see that... <laughs> I need to get the I, not the V. G-I-V-E. So I was talking about how inspired I get by so many crafters. And um, I really do. I, it's hard not to have favorites. But from the ones that I watch. I, it's like I watch the ones I like so much that I forget to try to find new ones. I did find one today. I'm going to go back and get her name. She was really inspiring in that she used a lot of the paper products from the Dollar Tree. And I don't know, my Dollar Tree just never seems to have as many good things as I see people finding online. So I'm just like, where did they get that? What Dollar Tree do they go to? We don't have that. Yesterday I found um, some really nice royal blue sparkly ribbon. I'm making bows for the Foster Care Foundation. They're having a Christmas party and they asked if um, anybody could make bows. And I volunteered because I used to work in a plant shop and every Christmas we had to make bows for poinsettia plants and I think I actually learned how to make bows there and I never made so many bows in my life but now it's time to use my bow making skills for a good um, cause so I'm happy to do that so it's G-I-V G I V. Let's see, that one's kind of got a gray tone to it. Let's do this one. G I V E. I hope I don't lose any of these in the 
in the process. So I bought blue ribbon and uh, some snowflake appliques. She wanted them to be um, snowflake themed bows. So I just love manipulating things with my hands. I used to wear braids in my hair and I would braid my own hair because I just have this thing about working with my fingers. I love it. That's probably why I weave with clay because it's just such a repetitive manipulating thing that you can do. Crafting with your hands is such a gift. I really feel like it's a blessing when you can keep your hands busy. Um, so there's the E, G, I, V, E, and I just need thanks. Let's see, T, H, A, N, K, S. Do I want them to go that way? No, I want that one to go in there. Okay. So, um, I have to get this banner in the mail to go to my mommy. I'm going to get that in the mail on Monday. I think she'll love it. She's not a big crafter, but she appreciates crafts. And we appreciate how she always encouraged us in all of our arts that we did. Um, she was the kind of mom that once she saw that you had a, um, a liking towards something that was good, she would encourage it by signing us up for lessons or, you know, taking us to museums and things where we could broaden our interest. Um, she was really good about that. She told us her parents were so protective they never really let her do anything. She let us do everything. We rode bikes for miles to get places all by ourselves. Well, with, you know, all of us together. Took all kinds of sewing lessons and swimming lessons and music lessons because she wanted us to have all that exposure, which was really cool. T H. Let's see. So sometimes I don't think we appreciated it, but now that we're older, we realize what a blessing that was. Uh oh. Can you see me, you guys? I'm just chatting away and I'm not sure I'm even in frame. I'm going to try to pick up this little toadstool guy because I think I have to get this letter. So this is why I'm doing this is I, I didn't think about putting wording on this until after I made the flags. But I know my mom, she loves lettering. And so I'm going to make sure there's a message on this flag. There we go. And this is another reason I'll probably have to decoupage on top of these because I'm peeling some of this back. T H. This one's going. Which one's going to be A? I think this one should be A. A. So it'll be really cold and snowy in Wisconsin probably on Thanksgiving. But. Um, I think here in North Carolina, it's actually going to be unseasonably cold. We even have one day that is supposed to be 27 degrees when we wake up in the morning. Now that is really cold for North Carolina. Oops, I was hoping I wouldn't do that, but I did. T-H-A. Well, you guys, the end just fell on the floor, but... I have another one here. I'll get it. See, I'm having a real lazy uh, crafting day. If you couldn't tell, I'm sitting down while I'm crafting. Normally, I'm sitting at the table. But it's quiet in my house. My husband's um, at um, a Saturday-type job fair. pray that that materializes into a job. That would be awesome. We really need that. And... My older son is at work. My younger son has a nasty cold. So he's in his room watching a movie. 
his iPad. But even though he has a cold, he's feeling better, and I think it's going to be helpful for us to get outside and get some fresh air. And every year we do what's called a leaf hunt because I like to make leaf dishes out of clay. And the way I make them is I actually roll the um, leaf into the surface of the clay. And I'm a little nervous about crawling or walking in, you know, the overgrown part of the woods. But my son isn't, so he goes in and I'm like pointing at these huge leaves saying, get that one, no, get that one. And it's sort of turned into a tradition. However, I mean, we've been doing this since he was really little. And one morning we went on a leaf hunt. And he was holding my hand and we were walking right on the edge of the woods we hadn't really gone down the trail yet and he literally almost stepped right on a poisonous snake it was horrifying and because i'm just afraid of snakes I'll, I'll be very honest and it was enough for us to say okay we're done going home now <laughs> we'll skip the leaf hunt for today so we're going to do that this afternoon and it's really cold though. I don't even think snakes will be out today. I think they're going to keep wherever it's warmest today. Oh, let's see. T-H-A. Is that N? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to move this bird over to a different spot because that's too far to the side. T-H-A-N. And you guys, I'm literally just visiting with you and chatting, and so if this is boring and old, I definitely wouldn't be hurt if you don't want to watch. Um, I'm using you as my afternoon visit for those of you who like to watch chat videos. I like to watch chat videos. I like to feel like somebody's there crafting with me. And I like when you guys put up your chat videos. So please keep crafting and chatting. It'll be my afternoon tea break. So that's T-H-A-N and I just need a K and an S. And I think I will make this my K. I didn't really want to cover up so much of that botanical one because I love it, but that's okay okay and then the s and here's the s p h a n k s okay that worked out pretty well so t h a n k s so what i'll do is i will string this uh oh, there's my G. I bet my G flag fell down. Hmm. It's here somewhere. Anyway, so as not to can bore you, I will string these and put a picture of it for you to see. Because um, a couple of my flags have gone missing. That's what I get for trying to sit here and do it the lazy way, but. Anyway, thanks for chatting with me, you guys, and I hope you like the bunting flag. It's actually another good way to use up scraps of paper, too, since they're all different. If you don't have enough to make them all similar or uniform, you can make them, you know, slightly different and still have a nice bunting flag. So, I'm going to show you a picture of the finished bunting. And I'll be back again with another video. Have a happy day. Bye. So uh, I don't know if you can see this, but this is the banner. On the, on, this is on my mantle, but I'm going to mail it to my mom. And uh, she'll put it on hers. And I'm knowing it'll be beautiful on hers. She's a big stone mantle because she's in a historic home in Milwaukee and those houses 
have such cool old stuff in them like uh, reliefs, tile reliefs on the front. And this one's a pretty mantle too actually. I just, I just picture it on the one at my mom's. So I'm excited that I finished it and I'm going to get it in the mail to her. I know she's going to love it. And thank you all for watching. This is my Give Thanks Bunting Banner. And I just wanted to show it to you. So, I will let you go. Have a happy day. Bye.